Hi, so uh, I've just come to the end of um, my uh, my 48 hour session here at Beausoleil and uh, expectations were really low to be fair. Um, three days before, uh, before I arrived there was a little bit of ice on the lake, there was snow, it was freezing and um, three days later we've got a nice um, nice southwesterly blowing for the last 24 48 hours and uh, it's been warm wet mild and uh, it was forecast I thought there was a chance and uh, I've made the effort uh, to come out and um, I sneaked a few fish which is uh, which is a real result So let's have a look at what I had and um, and I'll tell you about uh, how I caught them. Been here about 30 hours now, it's the end of January and uh, just had a very nice mirror. Not sure quite what it weighs yet but uh, let's get them out the sack and have a look. So here he is, I think this one is Cyclops, only got one eye, not sure we've got two fish with uh, only one eye and uh, he's a bit down on weight, just short of uh, just short of 29 pound, but uh, lovely fish, water temperature is only about 6.5 degrees, so really very welcome in these conditions. I took this uh, fish right tight to the uh, tree trunk as it enters the water uh, on Island Point and uh, standard presentation double D liver Beausoleil rig to 220 mils on a size 4 wide gate and a uh, little scattering of bait just a handful of chops, a little house pellet and uh, I dotted a dozen boilers around the, uh, around the Island Point tree just to try and get them moving around a bit I'll make him make a mistake and uh, this fella did. The uh, weather's really gone uh, nice southwesterlies, good strong breeze going in and temperatures have uh, really climbed up. It's about it's only about 9-10 degrees now but uh, Saw 11 or 12 during the day, and uh, lots of rain, lots of wind, and uh, a nice way to finish. So uh, let's get her back and uh, see if I can uh, sneak another one on my last night. Well, here we are again already. It's uh, probably about 11, 11:30, something like that and uh, been an exceptionally quiet session right up until I had that uh, 29 earlier on this evening and uh, I've just had another one uh, this time under the sluice bush gave me the right run around um, felt the uh, shortly after the tape felt the fish felt the grating on the line and uh, there's only one thing for it life jacket on and it's a solo job out in the wind and the rain in the boat and um, quite amusing really, um, took me with the wind blowing sideways, ended up along State Bank in the bushes and um, yeah, wish you could have seen that but uh, I had enough on me hands. Anyway, fish is in and uh, let's get him out and have a look at him. Here we go, 20, uh, 23 pounds, just a shade, uh, just a shade over of lean mean fighting machine. 
I don't like the absolute clappers. Run rings around me, really, to be fair. And uh, fell to uh, fell to exactly the same tactics. Little, uh, little nine inch double uh, double D lever, twenty mil Beausoleil rig, and uh, plopped uh, right tight underneath the uh, sluice bush. It was a uh, nice take, locked up to the top, and uh, I knew I was in. Yeah, the uh, spot under that sluice bush is really quite silty, quite shoddy as well. But uh, it's three and a half ounce lead, it doesn't settle too far. And that length of rig I find just a uh, bit spot on. You can put it basically anywhere, whether it be hard or soft, without uh, without any concerns. So uh, yeah, awesome result. I'm going to wind in one of the rigs now and uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm fishing with. So that's the Beausoleil rig, it looks really simple, that's because it is, um, but it's really uh, really effective. Double 20mm D lever, size 4 wide gape X, 25 pound supernova and a 10 inch, uh, 10 inch rig. Got a three and a half ounce uh, inline lead there. That's one from uh, Avid, but I use the quarter ones as well. And uh, we've just got a um, couple of blobs of putty there, just to make sure it's pinned down. But uh, what I do, which is a bit different, is I actually take the um, uh, take the Avid insert out or the quarter insert, whichever one you're using. And I slip on one of these anti-tangled uh, tubes over the uh, over the swivel and uh, that just pushes on there like that pull it tightly in there and uh, what happens is that um, when the uh, when the fish picks up the uh, picks up the rig you've got the full impact of the um, uh, of the lead but uh, as soon as it shakes its head it's off okay and um, that really does make it very very effective indeed it basically, can't use the um, can't use the weight of the lead to throw out the uh, throw out the hook, and uh, I call it the super light semi fixed. It's uh, not a uh, not a brand new idea, I know, but uh, that's what I use here. Very effective for marginal fishing, and um, it uh, basically converts. So uh, you get all the all the benefits of a um, uh, semi fixed rig with all the advantages of a running rig in one. Um, and um, it really, uh, really does work. So, uh, whichever way the fish moves, basically the um, uh, the lead acts as a pivot, and it can move towards you, away from you. It doesn't matter. The line's going to pull through that wet lead. Lead acts as a pivot, and um, all you got to do is just make sure that when you when you put it in, a little bit of pull there, you lift it up. As long as the lead stays there that's great, one little shake and he's off into a runner. One thing I'm really keen on is hook sharpness and um, I'm just going to rest that hook very slightly, very lightly, not stabbing that in at all on the end of my finger there and you can see I can turn that hook right the way upside down before it drops off and uh, that's a uh, that's a hand sharpened hook you will not get that um, with a uh, with one out of the packet try the test yourself you just won't be able to make it uh, make it hang up um, compared to uh, compared to a standard uh, standard hook they go in they stay in I don't drop fish and um, it just uh, yeah, really does. It really has transformed my fishing. I've been fishing like this now for about three years. This rig's uh, very, very effective at turning over. Flatten the palm there, 
and slightest bit of tension with that ultra sharp hook and uh, it's in my hook holds uh, half an inch three quarters of an inch back and uh, just uh, absolutely solid well I hope you've enjoyed uh, these uh, few insights about the, uh, my approaches at Beausoleil and uh, if you're lucky enough to have uh, booked a week here for, uh, for this year then uh, yeah you're gonna have a really good time just keep it uh, keep it simple find the fish get it bang on bait lightly and keep the bait going in if you get results that's all you need to do well it doesn't look like the um, the rains gonna stop and um, it really is time for me to um, start packing up my little green home and uh, heading on back to the house see you next time